Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, today's going to be the first episode or uh, a video that we make uh, from the new channel and I thought I'd, I'd share a little bit with you on uh, something we did yesterday. Um, so yesterday we decided we were going to hit up an Amazon return bin store. Um, you may have heard people starting to do some reselling and, and buying and I've been watching a couple of YouTubers uh, for the past several months that will shop Goodwill, thrift stores, uh, yard sales, and now bin stores, um, buying things at a, at a great bargain and reselling via eBay or some of the other reselling um, site options. So the wife and I decided we were going to head out and check out a Amazon bin store here in Charlotte and we did come up with a few that we think we could do uh, fairly well on and I thought I'd uh, I'd share with you what we came up with. So uh, first item we found is this Club K Spin Right Spinner softball uh, training aid. So while we were there we decided we'd, we'd take a look at it. We pulled it up on some uh, some eBay sold comps and notice that this is selling anywhere between $15 and $30 on eBay right now. It can be uh, and cut. So we paid $5 for this. Everything at the bin store on Saturday was $5. Uh, sold comps on eBay are showing $15 to $30 depending on you know 15 plus shipping uh, or $30 free ship that sort of thing so um, I think we can list this and probably get somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks out of this for a five dollar uh, investment um, we'll get these things listed once all these things are listed and as they sell we'll share with you in, in future videos um, what we made, where we lost, where we gained, uh, those sort of things. It's certainly a risk. So um, that's that's the first thing we picked up. Hoping we can get a little bit of something out of that. <clears throat> Next thing we picked up, it, while I watched some of these other YouTubers, I, I found that uh, toner cartridges and water filters and things like that, they tend to, uh, to do quite well. So we did find this two-pack of LG... Uh, LT700P water filter, refrigerator replacement water filters. Uh, two packs still in the box, uh, fairly sealed, uh, sealed inside, but the boxes are, are obviously uh, not as sealed. Um, five bucks for the two for the pair of these. We have found sold comps for $25 for two. Um, so, you know, again, out of this one, I would expect anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks. Uh, plus shipping or we'll take a look at it a little deeper and see if a free shipping option might uh, might gain us a better return so again two pack LG uh, refrigerator replacement filter water filters next up is a toner cartridge now <clears throat> in watching these other uh, YouTube folks we f I find that brand name toner cartridge. So if you see those off-brand remanufactured toner cartridges, they just don't return as much uh, on your money as, uh, as the brand names do. So I found this Brother TN660 still sealed in the box. Um, that's important, obviously. Uh, so st still sealed in the box. Uh, finding some sold comps on this between $35 and $43. Um, and these are recent sold comps on eBay. So, again, I'm thinking 30 to 40 bucks, uh, 30 bucks plus shipping, something like that. That should get scooped up pretty quickly. Again, this was a Brother TN660 uh, OEM toner cartridge. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? So. This next item was a carburetor um, for a YFM350 motorcycle, quad, whatever that might be. Still sealed in the box, brand new. Um, this could do fairly well for us. I, I'm, I'm seeing sold comps between 35 and 40 bucks. 
Um, again, five bucks is all this thing cost us. So uh, hopefully we can get this thing posted today and, and get some movement on this pretty quick. It's 35 bucks or so uh, right there. <clears throat> this one was a little bit interesting. This is, uh, has, was a little bit tough to find some sold comps for. But I do think, uh, I did see it brand new on Amazon um, for, I think it was 40 bucks. But this was a hidden front bumper LED bracket for a 2017 to 2019 Ford Raptor pickup truck. Um, again, $5 is all this thing cost me. We'll take a chance on it. I, I would think minimum 20 bucks. Again, I'm seeing comps on, on Amazon for uh, considerably more than that. But I'm thinking 20, 25 bucks on this probably <clears throat> and, uh, and make a few dollars on that pretty quickly. Let's see, what else we got? 3M command hooks. These were uh, display edge command hooks. So they're almost like a small mini shelf. Uh, with command hooks. It's a two-pack. Um, still sealed in the box and no damage to the box. These are brand new. Um, we saw some comps on um, on eBay 15 to 20 bucks shipped. So it won't make us a ton of money but I, you know I think we can we can profit probably ten dollars out of this uh, once we include shipping and, and that sort of thing. So um, pretty cool find there might even do well in the house if they don't sell so um, obviously that's something else we're looking you know we look at is, is is this something that we could potentially use if it doesn't sell um, you know for five bucks um, we'll see what comes of that let's see <clears throat> original OEM Dell laptop power cord this is another thing some of, my, some of the other guys online that are doing this um, seem to do pretty well with. Uh, this is a OEM Dell AC adapter, 90 watt. Um, saw some sold comps for somewhere around 30 to 40 bucks uh, shipped. So um, again, this should turn pretty quickly and make us a pretty de decent profit. This was something that, that Emily found. It was a, uh, a in drawer knife organizer bamboo knife organizer um, we found a few sold comps on these not the exact brand which is human nesting but we did find a few sold comps on these for between 15 and 25 dollars shipped so I think uh, you know again I think this one should do pretty well for us five dollar investment hopefully make about twenty dollars uh, another fifteen dollars out of it once we pay for our cost of goods This next one we took a chance on. Um, they had a ton of these in the bins. Um, and this is a Manhattan Toy Musical Llama. And it looks like it's got a xylophone on top and uh, it, uh, maybe some sort of rattle. Um, 12 months and older, so a kid's toy, obviously. A um, little big, might be a little more expensive to ship depending on where it's going. However, we did see between $25 and $35 um, uh, comparables online so um, I do think we should be able to uh, to, to turn this for a few bucks so um, again this was kind of cool they had a bunch of them decided to buy one to take a chance on it um, and we'll see how it works out This one here, this was a, a <laughs> this will this will show you how you can mess up and possibly spend five dollars or six dollars that you didn't that you probably shouldn't have spent. Found this in the bins. It's a HP original uh, inkjet ink cartridge package with the the tricolors and the black. Um, this was actually had some Target tags on it, so I'm assuming maybe there was some Target returns as well as some Amazon returns. Um, didn't pay real close attention to it. Box is still sealed and everything looks great. Um, problem with it is, is it is expired. So, um, based on the best buy date on the package, I think it's, it's, um, 
quite big splatter, actually. So I may list this, try to get my five bucks back out of it or something like that, um, just to, to see what happens. But um, again, I guess we want to pay, you know, learning game, we want to pay attention to stuff like this and how long it's good for. Um, things like that. It may still be perfectly fine in the box, but again, it is expired somewhere in 2018, I think. So, um, eh, you know, $5 loss here or there um, is going to happen in this game, I think. So, we'll just, uh, we'll do the best we can with it and try to try to mitigate that so that doesn't happen um, too very often when we go. A um, couple items left, but to give you an idea, we spent $80. Um, Ten dollars of that was for two household items that we purchased. Um, we purchased some neck gaiters. Um, they had a, a two-pack bag of black and gray neck gaiters um, for five bucks. And then Emily picked up a um, a backpack, a laptop backpack for herself uh, for her work computer for five dollars. So ten dollars of that went to personal purchases. Um, and so really we spent seventy dollars so hopefully here uh, at the end of this video I'll show you what I think we can make and then we'll refer back to this video in the future once everything sells and tell you what we really made alright so the last couple of items here are, are a couple of more water filters so we'll just kinda run through these real quick these are the uh, Kona Lake uh, replacement filter it does give you the original equipment number uh, for the refrigerator that it does fit and uh, looking at these, I found, um, found one of these. We did find some Soul Comps, 23 bucks or so, plus $10 shipping for single ones. So again, this cost me $5. It's still sealed. There are no expiration dates that we can find. And about 20 bucks, 20 bucks plus shipping or so, I think, on this thing. So um, should give us a quick $15 turnaround. And then the last two are these ones here. Again, they are no name brand, but they did uh, they do tell you which model they uh, they they fit. Um, found a two pack of these or, or two of these, which will turn into a, a two pack. And we found these selling for twenty five dollars plus shipping um, uh, and recent sales on that at that dollar figure. So. Again, not a bad deal. Five dollars cost us. Hopefully, a twenty-dollar return, uh, and then plus the shipping. So, um, so that's kind of it, guys. That's uh, that's all we bought um, for the first time around. Uh, you know, got to remember there is an investment to this. So, um, <laughs> until we get up and rolling, we got to make sure we're budgeting uh, accordingly when we uh, when we go to these stores. But uh, tons of fun. I took a real quick video that I'll show you. Um, on what the store looked like. Uh, tons of fun. There was a line outside when we got there. We got there about uh, 20 minutes or so before they opened. Uh, decent sized line outside, but nothing ridiculous. And literally, it is just uh, go in and grab. So, um, Kind of our strategy was grab anything we thought might have been good uh, and then go ahead and uh, take a few minutes before we cashed out and start doing our, our comparables and things like that via eBay and such. Um, so we're going to work on getting some photos taken here and getting these things posted on eBay and uh, and hopefully we'll start getting some, some sales and some returns on, on the investment and we can kind of keep you guys up to date on that in future videos. Um, again, if you like the video, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, um, smash that like button as every other YouTuber on the planet says. Um, and, uh, and, you know, hopefully we'll, we can keep bringing you some content that you'll enjoy watching. Uh, maybe in the future we can get you some live, uh, some live content from the store itself. Um, maybe I can find a better backdrop than my, uh, than my vertical blinds behind me, <laughs> um, stuff like that. Maybe the page will grow a little bit. Not necessarily looking to make a ton of money off the YouTube revenue or anything like that. We're just looking to kind of show our friends and family what it uh, what it's like to be a reseller. So um, again, if you have any questions or any comments, put them down below. 
Um, be glad to, uh, to answer any questions you might have about this stuff. We're fresh, new, um, so we've got a ton of questions too. So, um, but that's it. That's all I got for you. Hopefully we'll see you on the next video and we're out.